Hello and welcome to another video of time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about moving averages of moving averages. Sometimes we calculate moving average of a moving average to make an even order moving average symmetric. And here I'm going to start with the, a moving average of order 4. And this is a quarterly data that we are using. And uh, if we calculate moving average, it is very difficult to write down a value right in the middle here. So see, the moving average of order 4 will fall somewhere here. So we're going to start by calculating a moving average of order 4 by adding uh, uh, these four values and uh, dividing uh, the sum of these four values by 4 and it will give us 451. And in the next step we will drop the first observation and then we will start from uh, value 2 and uh, we will add another value and in the next step we will calculate the average of uh, these four values and we will place it here. So essentially this is not symmetric because uh, the average of the first four numbers should have been placed somewhere here in the middle rather than uh, in front of uh, the second observation. To uh, make this uh, moving average symmetric, we calculate moving averages of moving averages. We will uh, calculate uh, moving average of order 4 and then we will calculate uh, a moving average of uh, 2. Now this will be 4MA followed by 2MA. So next step we'll add these two values and uh, calculate their average which will be this number and in the next step we will add the, these two values and calculate their average and this will be the average value. So we're going to continue doing this until the last observation. In general an even order MA like this moving average should be followed by an even number MA as I did here. So a 4 MA should be followed by an even uh, MA and uh, an odd order MA should be followed by an odd order MA. For example, if we were uh, calculating 7 periods moving average here, it should have been followed by an odd number MA rather than uh, this. So an even MA will be followed by an even MA and an odd MA will be followed by an odd MA to make uh, these observations uh, symmetric. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.